everybody, I'm Lizzie McAvoy and welcome to my studio here in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer and I'm also a super huge fan of Triad Orbit. I have been for about the past few years, but about a year ago when I started my cooking show, The Girl in the Apron, I realized that Triad Orbit not only works incredible in my studio life, it works just as awesome in my filming life. So I thought it'd be super fun to show you how I've set up today's shot. So I have two different camera angles. I have a studio light and I have a phone tablet holder all on one trustworthy and sturdy stand. It is a small footprint, it is so easy to put together, and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'm a big believer that every great project starts with a great base. So today's base is going to be this awesome stand that Triad Orbit makes. And what's really cool about this is that it is super heavy duty, like actually really heavy, like you could just like stand here and do some bicep exercises. But then what's also super cool about it is that the legs are adjustable on it. So what you do is you just step right here on the edge. And I'm actually wearing my really cute fox socks to demonstrate how easy this is. You don't even need shoes, which I think is pretty cool. And what you're gonna do is you could just get like the craziest angles it's not going to go anywhere, and then you just easily release it back into place. And then you can just keep doing it even more. It's kind of like a game. It's pretty fun. How cool is that? Next up in my filming rig is going to be this pretty cool piece right here. What's really awesome about it is that it has two swivel balls on the end so that you can get any angle that you want. And this is a staple in my studio always because I use it for my drum overhead mics. And it's really awesome, it's really sturdy, and it's really easy to lock into place. Next up we have this really awesome extension arm and what's really cool about it is it has a weight in the back so it's gonna be perfect for my studio light. And it's got, as always, the great swivel wheel and perfect extension for any heights that you are willing to reach. And as always, it's going to be super easy to lock into place. Oop, a little crooked. Ta-da! Next up, let's add our camera. And I have the cool Triad Orbit camera adapter on the bottom. And it's going to easily lock into place. So we've gotten to the portion where I get to talk about my favorite Triad Orbit product. And it is going to be this beautiful clamp. I love this clamp so much. I've used it in so many different like crazy ways. I've actually attached it to the top of a wine bottle and had a little GoPro hanging off of it over a pot of boiling water. And I actually am using it right now on a milk jug so I can get all of my side angle shots with my iPhone. It's such a cool and awesome piece and you can use it in so many different ways. So for a while, I've been trying to figure out how can I have a teleprompter but not really have a teleprompter, and that is where the iOrbit comes into play. This is an awesome phone and tablet holder, and as always, it easily locks into place, just like so, and you know, if it's a little crooked, you just come in here and easily adjust it. Ta-da! Let's talk second camera angle, and that's gonna be for my GoPro. I've got my awesome clamp here again, and I've got this great extension arm, and I'm gonna attach it back here to my studio light extension arm in the back, and this is gonna give me my second camera angle. You could use your GoPro, you could use your iPhone, you could use your tablet, anything that you want to get that second camera angle shot, this is how you could do it. So here is my beautiful GoPro, and what's really cool is it is on this adorable M2. It's this really cute little swivel wheel. I love it so much. And as always with Triad Orbit, it's gonna easily lock into place. So the final touch is going to be my studio light. Ta-da! And I have the awesome Triad Orbit light adapter on here, and I'm gonna easily lock it into place onto the extension arm in the back. Welcome to the set of my cooking show, The Girl in the Apron. So you saw how easy it was to put together my last filming rig, so I thought it'd be super cool to show you how I've put together my new filming setup for my cooking show. Let's head behind the scenes. 
Here we are behind the scenes of my filming setup for the girl on the apron. So this is a fairly new setup for me because I have the superstar boom here and that's gonna be the Triad Orbit Starbird. Okay, so what do I love about this boom? I was initially attracted to it at Sweetwater's Gear Fest. I like beelined it over to the booth because I saw this pretty blue color and I was like, wow, that is so cool. Then I was kind of playing around with it and I noticed, holy cow, this can reach great heights and it can hold the weight. So what does that mean? I can put my pro camera on the end of this boom and it is not going to budge. It is not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna sag. It's not gonna slowly move down while you're doing your shot and that's amazing because when I'm using for my cooking show, I'm always filming over the food. And so this works out really well for that. So let's talk about the rest of the setup. So of course I have the super star boom starbird, but right now I have the synergy clamp back here and this is amazing. This is new in my life. I'm completely obsessed with it. It can hold a ton of weight. It's not gonna budge. It's not going anywhere. It's amazing. So I have the O2X coming out of here. That's that Y that you see on my drum overhead mics and also I had it on the last rig. And then I have the IOC clamp, my favorite, and the iOrbit, which I put my phone at the end this time just to show you a different way of doing it. And then I have my pro camera with the camera adapter. Back here I have an extension arm with my studio light at the top, and that's coming back into the O2X that's on its side, which is a little different, but again, you could do whatever you want. And down here I have my boom mic at the end of the starbird. I would say 90% of my cooking show is filmed over top of the food and the starbird is seriously the superstar of this angle. So I wanted to show you some of my favorite features. Let's first start off with this awesome counterweight in the back. Not only does it have that pretty blue color that I love so much, but it has this great clip where you can easily move it around. And the back unscrews so you can put even extra weight back there, like for example, sandbags. Next up, the Starbird moves very easily from left to right. And I'm going to go ahead and clip on my camera here. Now this camera weighs roughly five to six pounds and I've never found a boom that can hold this camera except the Starbird. So I'm gonna easily lock it into place, just like so. I'd have to say one of my favorite features on the Starbird is going to be the pneumatic pressure that's right here in this stand. This is what I was drawn to because I have had some mishaps with booms before where either my camera has fallen and smacked into the countertop or I've had mics maybe chip the newly finished grand piano. So this stand really, really holds up to the job. So let me show you how cool and easy this is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna turn the release and just like that, it's basically gonna rise all by itself. And then that seems like, you know, a good angle right there. I can lock it into place. And then what's really cool is when I release this, it's not going to fall down. No matter how much weight you have up there, it will not fall down. You have to manually pull it down. So I'm gonna put my hand here, I'm going to release. And just like that, I'm gonna pull it back down into place. How cool is that? So I do a lot of filming right here on this countertop and then I do a lot of filming over at the stove so I don't have to move my boom, which I think is really cool. But if I wanted to, it's on wheels. I can wheel it around the kitchen. So it's really easy to adjust this boom. So I'm just gonna swing it to the angle that I want it at right here. And then I'm gonna release back here and easily just slide my camera over to the stove like so. Check this out. This is a five to six pound camera and this boom is not sagging. It's not going anywhere. I'm not worried about it falling into a boiling pot of water or some pasta sauce. It's not going to budge. Now I'm going to use the pneumatic pressure to show you how easy it is to just raise it a little higher. No hands. Awesome, that seems like a good spot right there. So the next really cool feature about the Starbird is right here in the center. There's gonna be this great locking pin in the back and you're gonna easily pull on it. And right now I have it 90 degrees and let's just say I wanna bump it to 72 degrees, right? Just like that, easily locks into place. Now let's say I want a little bit higher camera angle shot. Let's see, easily locks into place. Now, you're thinking, is this gonna go anywhere? Is it gonna move? That was my thought. Let me tell you it's not. Look, I'm gonna yank on it, I'm gonna jiggle it, 
And look, that stand is going nowhere. How cool is that? I've put together sort of my final filming setup, so let me tell you a little bit about it. So I have the Starbird, I have my Synergy clamp, I have my studio light back here, I have my GoPro on my M2, and I have my camera here at the end of the Starbird. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to catch the latest Girl in the Apron episode or my music, be sure to check out my website. And a huge thank you to Triad Orbit. I will see you all next time.